Welcome to the next episode of Doing Insurance Right. My name is Scott Jenkins, your host. I'm a local farmer's agent here in Ahwatukee, Arizona, in Phoenix. On today's episode, will basically be about canceling your current insurance. A lot of people are afraid of doing this. They might be unhappy with their current insurance carrier, with their current agent, but or have a lot of fear on that it's going to be way too complicated in order to cancel it, or that it might take way too long, or that they're going to have some sort of chargeback, or they're going to get some sort of big fee for uh, canceling before the renewal date. And just to let you know, that is not true at all. Insurance is basically a prorated per day on the insurance. So there is no fee or charge back if you decide to cancel before the end of the term or renewal date. Um, so if you're basically paying on a monthly basis, we can stop and do that and then uh, turn around and then pay a new monthly fee on another date. If you prepaid in advance, you will get a portion of that money back depending on how long into the term that you are. So basically at our office, just to give you a quick rundown on how this works, uh, we would send you a cancellation form with the policy number on it and who we're canceling it with. You sign it, send it back to us, and we'll electronically send it in. 99% of the insurance carriers out there do take this form. There is a couple out there that don't that might require a phone call from you. We will get you the correct number to call and let you call them. But it's pretty quick and simple. It's not like uh, canceling the cable company where they have one person in that department. I've been on that phone call call waiting for an hour and a half with the cable company um, trying to cancel one because I needed to, uh, you know, I was moving out of state and it was and they weren't in that uh, next state. So I've I've been in that particular one. And trust me, that is uh, not a fun phone call. But this is not like that here at the office. We basically try to make this as simple as possible. We want to assist you or you basically only have to sign a couple documents and then we move on our way. So with auto insurance, it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to send you that form. You send it back to us signed. Um, then we'll send it off to the appropriate place. The same is going to be with homeowners. If you have a mortgage, um, there's not, you're going to have to have a signature there, obviously. Um, we'll send that in electronic to the company. We'll also send in a certificate of insurance to the, or what they call evidence of insurance to your mortgage company so they can then pay farmers for that and then figure it out in your escrow. Um, occasionally, there is a time though where they will send you a check back that does need to be put back into escrow um, when that happens just to balance escrow out. So it does take a little bit of time. We have a a lot of people that with our farmers uh, home insurance, which is very inexpensive, but one of the best products on the market, that it does save them some money, but it does take maybe a few months for that to even out in escrow. Um, so therefore, it, you know, it might take a few months before you see the difference in your mortgage payment, but eventually you will see that in your mortgage payment difference. So that's basically that part there. If you do pay ahead of time, yes, you will have to pay us and then get it reimbursed. So I understand, you know, well, maybe I don't want to do that. I want to wait till the end of the term. But let me ask you something. Why are you wait why are you paying additional now when you can save money now? really doesn't make a lot of sense uh, rather than, you know, we can put this on a credit card, even where you earn cash back and then uh, they can reimburse the card or or you could pay the card off once you get reimbursement. So uh, just something we want to make sure we can save you some money on. Um, there's no reason to pay additional money, especially when you're getting better coverage or better insurance um, versus some of the maybe a B tier insurance company. And now you're moving to an A tier insurance company. So there seems to be a lot of fears over that just because the process might be too long. Um, trust me, it's not a very long process. We do this every day for folks. Uh, so don't think that it's going to be that big of a deal. Now, if your agent's not willing to help you, I would recommend you um, maybe possibly look for another agent to help you or keep shopping in that respect. Um, that's one of the services that we offer. Uh, that is a big service that most agents should offer in order to uh, help you cancel your current service uh, just to make it as easy as possible for transition. Because uh, I mean, I understand nobody really likes change. That's a big one. Um, you know, if you've been with somebody for quite a while, but if you've been with somebody for 20 plus years and you're paying 15 hundred dollars a year for like a combination of all your insurances. And let's say you haven't heard from them in 10 years. You know, what's the point of staying with that agent? We love loyalty just as much as the next person. Trust me. But we understand dollars are dollars and cents are cents. And, you know, relationships are relationships. Loyalty to a company is one thing, but loyalty to a company hurting your family and your pocketbook is uh, something that you really need to take a hard look at. You know, not even being open to the idea of another company is another thing that that we see quite a bit. Well, I've been with it, you know, this company for, you know, 20 years. Okay. So you don't even want to look? 
or you don't even want to take a peek at, you know, just to make sure yours is competitive. I don't have a problem with giving you an insurance proposal just to make sure your insurance is competitive with what everybody else is doing in the market. There's nothing wrong with looking. It doesn't cost us but a few minutes to put that together for you. So please, you know, just give us an opportunity to take a look at it and we'll be more than happy to do that for you. It's not no skin off of our back. We're more than willing to help anybody that we possibly can, even if it's just for you to make sure that you're keeping your insurance on, your insurance company and agent honest. And remember, insurance for us is about the relationships. We want to make sure that you're happy with us, not that you're necessarily happy with, you know, the premiums or you're happy with this, that or the other, but you're happy with the service that we provide. So that's a big thing for our office and our agency here is to make sure that you're satisfied with the service that we provide for you. So if you're not happy with the service we're providing, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to interject myself to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do. Or if it's something with the farmer's program or a uh, farmer's corporation, I'll be more than happy to, to uh, bend over backwards to see if I can help assist. Uh, thank you for listening to this uh, episode of Doing Insurance Right. I do appreciate it. If you could please rate, review, and subscribe on any of the platforms we're on, such as uh, iTunes or uh, Spotify or Stitcher or Google Play, I would greatly appreciate it. It does help grow the podcast and spread the word for us. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.